Well, hello there. So who's ready for some crafting? Well, too bad. We're doing it anyways. Ahem. <clears throat> for today's craft, I thought it would be nice to use items you probably already have around your house. We're going to use plain white paper, some empty tid cans, either Super Soda Works, one plastic spoon, two rubber bands, thicker ones work better, one binder clip, ask your parents if they have any, one green marker or highlighter, you could also use green paint if you have it, one black marker, one glue stick, one pair of scissors, some small fruits, we're gonna use cherries today. And finally, some plastic containers. So now we've got all of our items gathered up. Any guesses as to what we're gonna make with all this stuff? Well, if you set a catapult in a mini pig city, then you're right! Can I just say I never understand a single thing you're talking about? Can I Let's get started. Remember, at any point if I'm going too fast, you can pause or rewind to catch up with me. Here we go! To make the catapult, we'll start by taking our binder clip. Make sure the metal loops are folded back like this. Next, take a rubber band. You're going to wrap it around both of the metal loops and wind it several times until it's nice and secure. Now take your spoon. This part's a bit tricky. You're going to slide your spoon into the rubber band, but on the outside of the loop. It'll take some wiggling, but eventually you'll have it in place. Grab one more rubber band. This time you're only wrapping it around your spoon side and securing it to the loop. And there you have it. Catapult is done. Now let's go build our pig city. You can't have a pig city without some pigs, so let's decorate a couple of our cans to make them look like little green piggies. First, take your paper and measure it to the size of your can. You can cut off the excess paper. Now comes the fun part, drawing your piggy's face. We'll use our black marker for this. We'll start with an oval in the middle for the nose. Now we'll draw circles on either side for the eyes. Don't worry about making them even. The best piggies have the wackiest eyeballs. Then add two dots for nostrils. And a dot for each of their pupils. And a curved line for the mouth. If you'd like, you can also give them some fun eyebrows. You know who else has fun eyebrows? <laughs> now some ears. Then we'll color it in with our green marker. <laughs> and voila! You can make any kind of face you want. Like this, or this, or this. Next, you can use your glue stick to secure your piggy to its can. You could start with one piggy, or two, or three. You can make as many piggies as you'd like. Let's start building our pig structure. Those pigs really seem to have mastered the architectural style of idiocy, so there's no wrong way to build this. We can start with a can here, and we can put a plastic container here, and maybe we add a pig on top of that. Oh, this is coming together so nicely, isn't it? Remember, the taller you build it, the harder it falls. Now comes the best part. We're gonna destroy it all! <laughs> so, take your small fruit ammo and position it on your catapult. Pull back gently, and... Let her rip! Take that pig city down! Destroy them all! Leave no structure standing! <laughs> so, there you have it. A nice, relaxing craft activity. Now, deep breath in and release. <laughs> <laughs>